All right, everybody, here is easel. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial, hopefully not shake too much here, uh, on or uh, the gerbil settings and how to get to them, uh, what a couple of them mean, and uh, uh, how to send. Okay, first, to get to them, okay, in easel, you go to machine, advanced and then machine inspector there's also a uh, command a keyboard command or keyboard strokes that gets you here uh, I don't remember what it is right off the top of my hand uh, but uh, you can look that up okay here right here is the console uh, the command prompt uh, this is where you would send any kind of command manually okay uh, right here you can see what I already sent and that's uh, dollar sign home and I did that by using the home button but here you can see what the actual command is that it sent just below that when you first go into it are your settings uh, they're always under here under the settings but a little bit of a warning this console window right here where it says OK that starts scrolling and adding a lot to it so you might have to scroll down pretty far to get to these settings or uh, you can go into the console here and you can type in dollar sign dollar sign and then enter and it will relist these but I believe they're backwards uh, from what they're listed here alright so here's your gerbil settings um, I know with 1.0 C there's a couple of uh, new ones around the uh, 30 uh, area, but I'm just going to go over what I have. I have right here at the top, um, you can see the build of gerbil that I have and the easel driver. These are the ones that work good for me. Right here you can see the machine position. Um, right now I'm using a, uh, a firmware version that has it in negative space. I prefer it the other direction and Larry M gave me uh, the gerbil file uh, that I can reflash sometime. Uh, right over here is work position. This always saves I believe right on the X carve, right on the Arduino. Okay, So that means you can go in between software and that work position should still be the same and that work position is based off of your home machine position or your uh, after you home, when it's negative, it knows where zero zero is, uh, and it's all just based off of that. But it's based off the home position, the position of uh, when you home the machine. Uh, or for those of you who don't home, uh, the machine position uh, when you turn it on your machine is zero zero. Okay, that's how it works. All right, we'll walk through these a little bit. Uh, some of these I don't know what they are, and I'll tell you that I don't know. Uh, this one I don't know what it is. Uh, this one here, the step idle, I know it has something to do with uh, when it stopped putting power uh, to the stepper motors after sitting idle for a long enough time. 255 is just continuously on, which uh, you'd want. Uh, Let's see the stepper port inversion mask. Uh, I don't know exactly what that one is, but the direction port inversion mask that uh, mask that's that one I know. Um, this has to do with uh, when you are jogging and you tell it to go farther away from you and it really is uh, going towards you. Uh, this is the one that's gonna. Uh, set the directions of all three X, Y, and Z directions. And that's what these uh, decimals over here, this is binary. Uh, or maybe it's not binary, but uh, either way, it's a numeric uh, code that uh, tells you what that is. Uh, anytime you see bool, uh, that's like an on and off switch or a zero and a one. Okay, so uh, number four, dollar sign four, I don't know. Uh, exactly what that is, the invert. Uh, I'm not sure if that just inverts them all. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so I'm not going to guess. 
Uh, dollar sign five, okay, limit pins, invert. I have this activated. I use normally closed uh, limit switches or homing switches. Uh, they are uh, soldered on there. Here, I'll come over to one over here, you can see. Um, I have them soldered uh, to the normally closed position and then you change that dollar sign five to one and it uh, and it's looking for a break in the power source or the signal uh, for the limit switches instead of looking for a trigger uh, it's just more stable so if you guys are having problems and you've tried everything else that's definitely something to try uh, and it's as easy as uh, changing this to a one all right uh, dollar sign six is the probe pin invert uh, similar thing although I'm I can only think of one scenario where you'd ever want to change that to a normally closed scenario which is uh, I've seen it once where someone had a limit switch mounted to the side of their wasteboard uh, and the uh, code they used the macro went over and touched the the tip of the bit over to the uh, limit switch to sense when where where it's uh, zero point was and then it just automatically knew where to put it uh, that's the only reason why I could think of switching it otherwise you'd always want to look for contact not pull away uh, so this you'd want to leave at zero uh, status report mask uh, this I have set to 19 in 0 0.9 um, this tells me if my pins uh, when I hit uh, what is it? Uh, is it just a question mark? I believe. Uh, when I hit that, it'll tell me uh, the status of my pins if it's seen them closed or contacted. I should say, or, or uh, triggered. If it sees it triggered uh, or not. Um, I don't know what 11 is. Arc tolerance has to do with, uh, I believe, with the minimum. Uh, segments that it breaks arcs into because um, gerbil does not make actual arcs it makes straight micro lines or very tiny straight segments 13 13 is a good one if you do not like millimeters uh, unfortunately all this other stuff that's still in millimeters I, I don't know how to do anything about that but as far as the readout here machine position and work position if you notice mine is in inches um, that's this guy right here 13 if you change that to a 1 it's in inches if you change it to a 0 it's millimeters uh, 20 is soft limits um, that uses your homing cycle okay and then it uses uh, your max travel right here okay so whatever you have set here it'll only allow you to go that distance and then it will stop an alarm and then you have to uh, you have to close out of easel and go back in and rehome uh, it's the only way around it uh, when you hit an error but it stops you from smashing anything your machine against the sidewall and uh, just keeps you from hitting your Z limit switch um, that's 20 uh, the thing is is you cannot turn on 20 without turning on 22 first which is your homing cycle okay so you have to do 22 first and then you can do 20 otherwise it will not allow you to take it won't take for the 20 um, 21 is your hard limits if you had a limit switch um, okay so if you had a limit switch on this side like we do okay and then you had a limit switch also on the back and then another stopper or another trigger like this on the other side uh, if you did that there and you did that on the x-axis uh, and obviously the z-axis you really 